Okay, so now that we've gotten ourselves properly warmed up to throw, now we're gonna go through a very simple throwing program that you can use with any age. So uh, Maddie and I are gonna demonstrate. Maddie, why don't you go out there? You'll be my partner. So you'll have one partner line up right here. What we do is we go glove knee down. So if I'm a right-handed thrower, my glove's on my left hand, I go left knee down, go right there. So put your right knee down. So he's a lefty, so go right knee down. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna have the ball in the middle of our body. We're gonna turn so that we can get our throwing side shoulder on our target. We're gonna break our hands, we're gonna throw, and we're gonna follow through. Now the reason why we like to have our glove knee down is because it allows us to throw and have all of this room over here to follow through. So I want to feel my arm is able to decelerate this way. Yeah. I have all of this area. We're not going to try to just throw and stop our arm. So we turn our shoulders, we break our hands, we throw, we follow through. So we start every day with this throwing routine. Good, we'll go about 10 throws. Feel your chest come forward a little bit more on your throws. So when I set up, you guys can see, my foot is just a little bit in front of my knee. So it's not back here, but it's definitely not way out here. Okay, a couple more. Okay, so now after we've done that, we stand up and if you, it depends again on the age. I'll mark it out right now. So he's seven. I'm, uh, I'm old. I'm 37. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're about 25 feet apart. The one thing that I see that happens sometimes in drills like this is the players get too close together. So Maddie, come real close to me. Keep coming. Get right there. So sometimes not get down on your knee. Sometimes I see this, they get way too close and it ends up being like this little flip. We like want, this. exactly. So you'll see a lot of young kids do that. I want it to be far enough where I can use proper mechanics and I'm working on decelerating my arm. I'm working on getting my front shoulder on my lead target. I can feel that separation between my lower body and my upper body, but I'm not just pushing a ball to my partner. I see that a ton at young levels, exactly. So you've gotta be far enough away. Yeah, you've gotta be far enough away to be able to properly execute a throw. And again, depending on the age, again, he's seven, he's got a decent arm for a seven-year-old. We're at about 25 feet. Um, you know, most seven-year-olds might be able to move in a little bit closer, but I see a lot of older players just start way, way too close. Okay, after we do that, now let's stand up. Let's slide over here so the camera can see us. Okay, now what we do from there, we like to go into position specific throwing. So for me, I'm an infielder. So push back a little bit. Now we're gonna take a few more steps back. I'm an infielder, so I'm gonna put the ball in my glove. I'm gonna get into my fielding position. I'm gonna bring the ball up to the middle of my body. I'm gonna go right to left, left to target, and I'm gonna throw and follow through. So Maddie, give me a, yeah, give me an infielder. So there you go, bring it up. Very good. All right, so that's all we're gonna do. Put it in the glove. We're gonna bring the ball to the middle of our body. We're gonna use right to left, left to target footwork. He's a lefty, so he uses the opposite. So we're here, throw, follow through. So now if you're an outfielder, you can work on fly ball, right? So you can get behind the ball like you're gonna catch a fly ball. Now, depending on how you teach your outfielders, we talk about stepping behind and throwing. So you can pretend you're an outfielder, set up like you're gonna catch the ball, put the ball in your glove, catch it, step behind, throw, and follow through. There you go, so act like you're catching a fly ball. Yep, so right here, catch it, throw. If you're a catcher, you can get down into a catching position. You stand up, put it in your glove, work your footwork, throw. Put the ball in your glove. Yep, there you go, hop and throw, very good. So one thing to think about, always have the ball in your glove, right, because when I'm working on my footwork, there's always gonna be a transfer. So if you keep the ball in your bare hand, that's what a lot of players do during catch play. They catch the ball, ready Maddie? catch this? Throw it back to me. So what a lot of players do is this, they catch the ball, they take it out, and now they just stay like this, and now they go and throw, but they don't really work on transferring. So what you wanna do after you catch the ball, okay, throw me it, 
after you catch the ball, you can transfer if you want there, but put it back in your glove. And now that way, when you're working your footwork, now you've got to transfer. So if you're a catcher, again, you get down, transfer, throw. Very good. So now you're always working on transferring and throwing. You're not just throwing. The other thing is think about your arm action. So as a catcher, I'm going to be very short with my arm action, right? As an outfielder, I can be a little bit longer. As an infielder, I'm still going to be shorter. But now we're really working on position-specific throwing. All right, so now we just had to change the camera angle a little bit. So now after you do that, you continue to push back. So right now, we're at probably about 60 to 70 feet. And all we're going to do now is we're just going to put the ball in our glove. We're going to stand sideways. We're going to shuffle our feet, and we're going to throw and follow through. All right, go ahead, face that way. Good. So again, put the ball in my glove, turn sideways, shuffle my feet, throw, follow through. There you go, that way, good. Always remind the, the throwers again to put the ball in their glove. Every time you catch it, put it back in your glove, set up here so you can work on transferring. Right, and everything we've worked on up to this point, we're gonna continue to use. So you can see how I've got my lead shoulder on the target. Go ahead, shuffle, throw. Right, I'm gonna work on decelerating my arm. Basically like I'm putting a seatbelt on. I'm gonna get my chest forward, my nose over my toes. We'll do it again, push back a little bit. So we're just gonna continue to do this. As we get loose, we just keep pushing out. All right, keep pushing back. Keep pushing back, keep pushing back. And we just keep going. A Little bit lower, keep it down a little bit more. So as the players push back, the key is that as they push back, we want to feel like we can throw the ball with some air under it, All right? So I'm still just feeling my arm get loose. Make sure they continue to use their bodies, shuffling their feet. And so one mistake I see with young players is that they don't want to push back. They only want to throw from a short distance. So if we're trying to get their arms stronger, but also healthy, we have to throw the ball with some intensity. And so let them continue to go out. Once they get to the point, where they can't reach you, so like right there. So he's pretty far out. I don't know if you guys can even see him on the video. He's pretty far out right now. So he can't reach me in the air anymore. Now we'll start to slowly bring him in. All right, slowly start to bring it in right there. Good, every throw come a few steps in. Now as you start to come in, we went from having to throw the ball pretty high now we start to lower our sights and try to take that same intensity, but just lower the ball flight a little bit. Ready? So, so now you can see the ball starts to come down a little bit, but we're still trying to throw the ball hard. Good. Continue to use your body. Always work on shuffling. The footwork is easy. It's just replacing the feet. So if I'm a righty, it's just right to left, left to target. If I'm a lefty, it's left to right, right to target. A lot of kids, again, you'll see if you don't tell them, they'll just stand here flat-footed and they'll just throw. And they're just relying all on their arm. So you've got to work your body. You've got to shuffle your feet, always. No throws allowed without our body working properly. Okay, now. Well, yep. So now once we get really close, 
All right, so now we'll go quick catch. So nice and quick. Just have some rhythm with our feet. Good. 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 And we're just working our feet. Good, work your feet. So we're just trying to get some rhythm. Good job. Two more. Very good. Perfect. So now we've gone through our mechanics with our glove knee down. We went through position specific throwing. We pushed back the shuffles. We worked our way out as far as we possibly could. We went from throwing the ball high as far as we could until we could no longer reach our partner. And then we started to bring it in. We kept the same intensity. We just lowered our sights a little bit, lowered the angle of the ball. Um, tried to continue to throw it through a partner, worked all the way back in, and then we finish off with quick catch. So we do this with our players every single day. It's a great throwing routine. At this point now, we feel pretty good. You feel pretty loose? Yeah. Pretty good, right? I want to hit. Now he wants to hit. Of course, everybody wants to hit. But a great way to not only take care of your arm, but also strengthen your arm. If you want to be a better thrower, you have to throw a lot. And so we're working on our mechanics, but we're also pushing our bodies to be able to use our bodies properly, to be able to throw the ball a long way, and then take those same mechanics as we shrink the distance down at the end. So hopefully this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.